Hi, this is Dr. Pan, recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well, and thank you for watching this clip on conversion between angular and linear velocities. Okay, the topic is, uh, it can be tedious, but it doesn't have to be. All you really have to do is this. If you have a circle, or wheel, actually, in our case, if it completes one circle, or one cycle, one rev, technically, uh, what you really happening is the distance traveled, which is referred as, it's called a linear velocity. Angular velocity typically referred as omega, but let's make it a simple here. We'll just call it a VA, subscript A. It's called linear velocity to be simple and angular velocity there. Okay, so the the thing really, if you think about it, and you paint this wheel and you roll it once, it really comes down to a circumference, which is 2 pi r, whatever this radius is. This is how you really convert one revolution, one rev, into one rev per, say, unit of delta time into linear velocity, which is circumference over the same delta t. That's really that. That's just really it. So let's solve the first problem. We were given that truck was traveling 60 miles per hour. Obviously, this is the linear velocity because it's traveling this way. Let's see if I can draw a car. It's traveling, okay. And this wheel is turning. Let's put this one. Now they're asking the wheel turning. We want to convert it into revs per second. So it's prudent to let's convert this velocity into um, per second. And also the w tire we were given is 26 inches in diameter. So let's convert this 60 miles per hour into inches per second, which will be a lot easier for us to convert later on into angular velocity. So here we have 60 miles per hour, let's convert hours off, one hour is 3600 seconds. That's easy because it's 60 minutes times each minute has 60 seconds. Obviously you have 3600 seconds per hour. Okay. This is my conversion factor for one of them. Next thing I'm going to convert one mile is 5280 feet and each feet is equal to so 5280 foot, each feet is 12 inches. Okay, there's a funny story how you're going to remember this 5280. Think of it as this one. You have, oh dear, five fingers. One, two, three. Oh, I missed the one. Five fingers, okay, two hands. It's supposed to be a mitten. Okay, two hands. Eyes and mouth. So it's five fingers, two hands, eight on your eyes, and zero is your mouth. So it's five, two, eight, zero. That's how many feet you have to walk in a mile. All right. So anyway, you convert this whole thing in is 60 times five, two, eight, zero times 12 divided by 3,600 then this one miles cancels out. Where is it here? Feet cancels out. Inches are left alone. Hours cancel out. Seconds is left alone. So we are left with uh, inches per second. Okay, this one is uh, one zero five six inches per second. Okay, that's how fast the track the truck the truck is moving. Now for each one of them. For each time, if we move 2 pi times uh, 26 divided by 2, because this is the my radius, or it's really pi times 26 inches, that's one is one rev. Okay, each time we move this many inches, we have one rev. Then obviously, to calculate angular velocity, we're going to divide. Okay, we have 1056 inches per second divide by pi times 26 inches. That's the rev, okay, per, that's the inches per rev. So if you were to just look at the units over here, we have inches, 
divided by seconds, divided by another unit, which is flip multiplied that's in reciprocal, which is rev go on top, inches go on the bottom. Inches cancels out, we end up with rev per second. Okay, and you plug this into the calculator. Hopefully I didn't make any mistake, it's 12.93 rev per second. Okay, that's all we have to do. All right, let's go on to the second question. We're given that a gear has a radius of 4.6 centimeters and it makes three revs per second, which is angular velocity was given. Okay, angular velocity is here. And then we're asked to find linear velocity equal to what in centimeters per second. Well, that's pretty easy to say. So if you cut this one open in three revs, so here's the linear velocity is equal to three revs, and each one of the revs is equal to two times pi times r, which is 2.6, 4.6 centimeters. Okay, this is three revs, and each white rev is this many centimeters. Okay, so this is three rev, this many centimeters per rev, because each revolution, you're going to turn this one circumference, and three has a unit of Three has unit of rev per second. Okay, so be linear. Let's put all the numbers together. Pi and 4.6. And then let's take a look at our units. We should have the correct units. Revs per second. And then it's centimeters per rev. 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 Okay. Rev cancels out. We're left with centimeters per second. And if you uh into your calculator over there. It's three times two pi times four point six. I calculate where's my calculator? Here it is. So it's six times pi times four point six. Okay, I end up with eighty six point seven one. So eighty six point seven one centimeters per second. And that's our linear velocity. All right, I hope this is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. Please comment or thumb up if it's been helpful. Until next time, have a confident day.